Welcome to class today. Today we are going to talk about modulus functions, which happens to be um, in chapter one of algebra. So we are going to look at sketching these graphs and also how to solve uh, the inequalities of these modulus functions and also equations. So we have questions from 2020 to 2022. So those are ones that we are going to look at. Now, the first one here comes from October, November 2022, question paper 31, and of course the code for mathematics of Cambridge A-level is 9709. So it is question number one. They are saying sketch the graph of y is equal to the modulus of 2x plus 1. So what you can do here uh, is to first consider this as a straight line. So you remove the modular signs and then you will have y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now after that, because this one is a straight line, you can just look for the intercepts, where this line can intercept x-axis or y-axis. Or you can just find two coordinates and then you draw through. So from here, we can see that if x is 0, y will be 1. And if y is 0, then x will be negative 0 0.5. So now we can plot those two, 0, 1, and then negative 0 0.5, 0. It is here. Then, after that, we draw a straight line through. But you realize that below x-axis, because this one has a modulus on it, we don't draw beyond we don't go through the x-axis and we come to the negative part. No. Modulus means that we are dealing with the positive part. So what is negative is actually made positive. All right? So we therefore reflect the part that goes in the negative. We reflect it in the x-axis and then now it becomes a v-shaped. So modulus functions... Uh, th these graphs of modular functions are always v-shaped now this part was already positive so we label that as y is equal to 2x plus 1 and then this other part which we have reflected in the x-axis we label it as y is equal to negative it was the negative part which was reflected here okay and you know in functions of paper one when you are looking at reflections, um, the y coordinate changes a sign when you reflect in x axis. So that's it for paper one. Now, this is paper three. So it's a v shaped graph. So that is what we are supposed to plot v shaped. You can ignore this one because it is for part b. Now, part b, they are saying sort of the inequality 3x plus 5 less than. Uh, the modulus of 2x plus 1, but you realize that this right part here is what we have sketched here in our part A here. So what do we then do? Uh, there are three ways you can solve of this. Number one is to sketch this graph of y is equal to 3x plus 5. So you can look for two coordinates when x is 0, y is 5. Uh, when y is 0, x is negative 5 over 3. Or you can even take it as, uh, you can take any other value because this one is a recurring one. So you can have like maybe if x is negative 1, what is y? So if I put negative 1 here, I'll have negative 3 plus 5, which is a 2. So you'll find something like that, negative 1 and around here, 2. So you draw. And then when you draw this graph, you realize that this one goes through even the x-axis and goes to this this negative part here, you can see that it protrudes through. So why? Because for it, it has no what? Modular signs on it. So it is not V-shaped. Now, these two are going to meet. And when they meet, we are supposed to look for this point of intersection. And based on our graph here, this part here, this graph here is supposed to be above, it is supposed to be below. Because this is less than what we are having here. Now, you realize that this graph here only intersects in the upper part here. It only intersects this part here of the negative. It doesn't intersect the what? 
the positive. So when you sketch, you can easily see which parts you're going to take, like we are going to see in other methods of solution. So why sketching can actually be very good for you to locate exactly where you need uh, where you need to use. Now, let's go to this other one here. So where they meet, now we need to find this point of what? Intersection. So when we find that point of intersection, we, sh we shall solve these two, this one and this 3x plus 5. Now, when you look at this graph here, you realize that this one here is supposed to be below our 2x plus 1. So it is at this point. So if this is the meeting point, when you come to the right of it, of course, that is where we are having the greater than sign, you see? So you realize that our straight line here, our straight line here is greater because if you check down here, this graph here is below this graph here. Now, when you look at this other side here, you see that this graph here, our 2x plus 1, is above this one here. So that means this part is going to be the one we are going to use here. Why? This graph is above. In other words, the 3x plus 5 is less than the 2x plus 1, the modulus, on the left of this, okay? Now, let's go to the solution. We want to, we want to get that meeting point. So the meeting point, we can have it here. Uh, I said that the two graphs that intersect are this 3x plus 5 and the negative one. So the 3x plus 5 less than this negative part here, so enter the negative here, then you put x's onto one side, then you realize that you have now 5x here less than the negative 6. So our x is therefore going to be less than negative 6 over 5. So that means this point here where they meet is negative 6 over 5. So to the left of this point here, this graph, the modulus one for y is equal to negative 2x plus 1 will always be above this one because as you go this other side, this line y is equal to 3x plus 5 continues to go down and down and the other one continues to go up. So that is the solution for that. Next, you can that is by sketching. You can also use this other method here where you, you square both sides. So when you square both sides here, um, you don't need to actually waste time. So the moment you sketch, you square both sides, always bring this part on the right onto this side. Now you are having a difference of two squares. And for a difference of two squares, what do we have to do? If we have a squared, you know that if you have a squared minus b squared, that is the same as saying a plus b when factorized. a plus b then a minus b. So our a is the whole of 3x plus 5, and our b is the whole of 2x plus 1. So we can add them and then subtract them. Simplified, it is going to be 5x plus 6, and then here x plus 4. So that means here the critical values, when we get this and equate it to 0, it will be negative 6 over 4. And then this one, negative 4. Now, of course, we are supposed to look at the parts. Uh, here, the coefficient of x squared is going to be positive because you have 5x times x. So you have 5x squared. So if you have 5x squared, this one is going to give you a u-shaped what curve. So now you are going to have, uh, we call them the critical values, negative 4 and then negative 6 over 5. So we are supposed to look out for the part which is below x-axis. The part which is below x-axis is this one. It is in between these two. You see? In between these two values. 
So that means you're supposed to have uh, you're supposed to have negative four less than x less than negative six over five, which are these two actually x greater than negative four and then x less than negative six over five. But the problem with this one is that you have to test test the values beyond negative four into in what was given here like for example we were given um remember we were given three x plus five less than then the modulus of two x plus one so greater than negative four you can pick a figure here in between here but greater than okay and then you test and see and then um when you come to this other one here, we are picking a value like negative 2. So less than negative 1.2. A figure like negative 2. So when you put 3x, this will be negative 6 plus 5, which is a negative 1. Then here, negative 2 times, neg times 2, that's a negative 4 plus 1. So that's a negative 3. The modulus of that, because it is a negative, it is going to become a positive. And indeed, it is less than what three so you have to test these ones and then you get one figure okay so that is that so the other way you could do that is actually uh considering these two when you have this one being positive so there are two ways you can uh there are three like i said this is the second one this is the first one this is the second one now the third way is going to be this. You are going to get this 3x plus 5. It doesn't have a modulus. So this one which has a modulus, we are supposed to consider its positive part and also its negative part. So you will also have something like this and also its negative part. So you have the negative here, then you say 2x plus one. Here, you sort of this, you will have an inequality. You also sort of this, you will have an inequality. Actually, you will get these two inequalities and then you have to test one. But by sketching, you see that you get the answer right away, okay? So let's go to the next question. The next question comes from question paper 3-3, May, June 2022, and his question 1. So they are saying, find in terms of A, the set of values of X satisfying the inequality. Now, before I even proceed, this is what I have to say here. What you are going to do, whenever you find modulus functions, this is what you should do. If you see modulus signs, on both sides of your inequality or equation, always square both sides, and then sort of the quadratic that comes out of there. That is all. And if you find that you have the modular signs on only one part, like this one here, this, this one we have looked at, the modular signs are only on one part, always you either sketch or split them into two like this one positive the other one negative and then you solve so here don't use don't square both sides it will disturb you don't square both sides here just square both sides where you find the modular signs on both sides of the inequality or equation so here squaring both sides we shall have um Take the two inside here, it multiplies, and then when you square both sides, you bring this one this side, it's a difference of two squares, okay? So a difference of two squares, we add, then we subtract. When you add and subtract, then simplify here. Don't mind about the A. The A is just a constant, okay? So our critical values will be, when you equate this one to zero, your X is going to be negative five over eight, and then here, your x is going to be a over 4. And of 
course, we shall have negative 5 over 8a, the smallest, in this one. So we are drawing this U-shaped graph. Always sketch. Always sketch. It will always help you. So 8x times 4x, that is 32x squared. So that means the coefficient of x squared is positive. And if it is positive, therefore, that is a U-shaped curve. So we are supposed to look at the area which is below the x-axis. So the area which is below is in between these two. You see that? Yeah. So these critical values are the ones for the roots. They represent the roots of that quadratic equation if you remove the, uh, the inequality sign and you put the equal signs. So it will give you the, the roots. That's where the curve will, um, will cross the x-axis. But we can also, uh, to prove that, we can, here you cannot use sketching because you don't know the constant A, unless if you choose it to be something else, like maybe a figure you put there. So just square both sides because the modular signs are on both sides. Okay, then the next question is from February, March 2022, and it is question one. Solve the inequality, this, you see that it is on both sides, so if it is on both sides, just square both sides, bring what is on the right onto the left, then from there, add, and then subtract the entities. So when we do that and simplify, we shall get here 5x plus 9, and then here minus x minus 3. So when you reach here, there are two ways you can do that. So what I did was to factorize out the negative here. It came out, it is here. Then after, I divided it all through. Now, you know, in inequalities, when you divide or multiply through by a negative, the inequality sign has to change. So here it was a, a, a greater than, so it has now to change to less than. Then from here, at this juncture here, you see that 5x times x will be 5x squared. So that means the coefficient of x squared is now positive. So this one is now going to be u-shaped. You see that? So the critical value we are getting here is negative 9 over 5. It's here and then negative 3. So we are interested in the part that is below x-axis and it is in between these two. So that is that. However, if we just take it the way it is here, okay, we just take it the way it is here, then we are going to have that as n-shaped. Why? Because you have 5x times negative x, so that is negative 5x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is a negative, so it has to be u-shaped. Mm -hmm. So when you equate this one to 0, you get a negative 3. And when you equate this 5x plus 9, you'll also get negative 9 over 5. Now, this is greater than 0. So that means we are interested in the part of this graph which is above x-axis. So you realize that it is in between these two values. In between those two values. So this then becomes our answer. So alternatively, I said by sketching, you can also do that. Remember, there are modulus signs on both of them. So we draw two V-shaped graphs. Okay, so y is equal to x plus 3. Um, if x is 0, y is 3. Then if x is negative 1.5, then y is 0. So this is the graph for this. When it reaches here, we reflect this part that goes through the x-axis, we reflect it here. And that is the negative part of that curve, of that graph. Then we also do the same uh, for this one here, 3x plus 6. When you put a 0 on x, y is 6, so 0 is 6 here. And then when you put 0 on y, x is negative 2. So you have it here. And then you draw. Then when it reaches here, then you reflect it here. Now, when you reflect, you realize that the parts that are meeting are only these two. 
you see these two negative ones on this upper part we are dealing with the positive parts <clears throat> but if you continue down here you will also realize that these parts these lines are meeting down this way but we are interested in the parts that are above x-axis so these ones when they are positive like this they are not meeting but then the reflected parts of them are the ones which are meeting here you see that so now these two we bring them here and uh, based on our equation we are told that this one of 2x plus 3 must be above this one here 3x plus 6 so we look at them um so 2x plus 3 our minus 2x plus 3 here mm -hmm, the reflected one oh there are two points of intersection here see that there is one here both negatives are meeting then there is also one here when the negative of y is equal to 2x plus 3 the negative of it is meeting the 3x plus 6 still it's positive still the positive because it is not yet reflected this one here so this is the one i put here now uh, you bring x onto one side when this one crosses that is a negative five and then that so now you know that when you divide through by negative you will get what uh, the sign has to change so here it was greater then it has to be less than then next we also have the negative of this one meeting with the negative of this one you see now uh, open brackets everywhere negative uh -huh. bring this x this side is a positive so x is greater than three so i mean negative three so if x is greater than negative three that implies that when we merge these two greater than negative three less than this one then it gives us the same answer negative three less than x less than negative 9 over 5. Let's go to 3 1, October, November 2021. This is number 1. Now, this one involves modulus functions and then logarithms. So, you see the, mo the, the modular signs are only on one side. So, if they are only on one side, you are going to split it into two consider the positive and also consider the negative this negative is written this side but you can write it here you can also write it here and then you remove it here it's all the same okay it's all the same mm -hmm. then from there now here we are going to solve this by uh -huh, multiply this by four four times five power x then bring this 5 power x again here. So here we are not supposed to say 4 times 5. No. Because the 4 has no power x. So what you do, you take this as a y. 4y minus y. You get 3y, right? So that is 3 of 5 power x minus 4. Take the 4 here. And then now you can divide through by 3. So if you want to solve for x, then you can introduce logarithms. You can introduce log base 10 or you can use natural logarithms so the x will go down from here it comes down here using rules of logarithms and then log of 4 over 3 then you can divide by log 5 and then you get an answer there then also the same thing we do here remember uh, we said the negative can be on this side or this other side so uh, 4 times this 4 times 5 power x 
and then you bring this on this side now you have a 4 plus a 1 here so it becomes 5 of it so that means 5 power x is equal to 4 over 5 and we can also introduce logarithms here and then our x becomes log of 4 over 5 over log of 5 then you press this one in your calculator and you get these two answers okay um alternatively you can square both sides but i say that squaring both sides is always applicable very much applicable if you see modular signs on both sides but when you square both sides here okay you will have uh, 16 here and then this one is like a minus b then bracket squared so you square this 5 power x squared then minus then 2 times this times that that's what you have here and then square the one so you are going to have a quadratic in 5 power x so you can put anything like let it be y then you solve this quadratic equation after solving that quadratic equation you are going to get these two values 4 over 5 and 4 over 3 then you introduce logarithms just like before and you get the same answers you see next uh, this one has modular signs on both sides remember we said for modular signs on both sides you just square both sides bring what is on the right onto the left then you use a difference of two squares where you are going to add the entities and then you subtract them then you simplify so now you see here that we have 5x times an x here it is going to give us 5x squared so the coefficient of x squared is a positive therefore we are going to have a u-shaped curve and then we can put our roots for the critical values so we have a negative 3a over 5 that's when you get this one and equate it to 0 this is what you get and also when you get this one and equate it to 0 you will have 5a so we are interested in the parts of the graph that are above x-axis greater than 0 so the ones which are greater than 0 they are on to the right of this so when you look at the right of this one any figure that you get here when you try to get it to, like you extrapolate to the graph it is going to meet it somewhere there you see it's above greater than zero even to the left of this i get a point maybe this other side i try to extrapolate to the graph here and then you find that still you get it above but parts which are in between here any value in between here when I try to connect with a graph, it is below. Okay, so we don't need this part here. We only need the parts which are above. So that is beyond 5a. I always say greater than the greatest, then less than the smallest. And that is the solution. The solution for this question is therefore less than the negative 3 a over 5 and then greater than 5a next sketch this one remember you just get two coordinates on that graph this this one is from october november 2021 question 2 question 3 3 question paper 3 3 so you come here when x is 0 y is negative 3 so it is supposed to be down here 0 negative 3 and then uh, 1.50 here so like these are the intercepts I'm supposed to draw like this all through but this part which is going beyond this axis I reflect it you see so if this one was meeting y axis at negative 3 then this one should cut y axis at 3 so that is the uh, the sketch for that graph and then part B here uh, if you try to look at these two 2x minus 1 minus 3 modulus is the same as this one here but they're saying less than 3x plus 2 so what are we going to do we are also going to sketch this one onto the same graph you can sketch it there so when x is 0 y is 2 
So this is the one here. And then our, this other one here is, when y is 0, then x is negative 0 0.6 recurring, or any other coordinate which you can get. Then when you draw, you realize that this line here is meeting this reflected part, which is a negative. So those two are the ones I'm going to use for my solution. Okay? For my solution. So, we can now have our 2x minus 3. So when you open the brackets here, that is negative 2x then plus 3 here. Then trying to solve just to, to see, uh, but you could leave, you could leave that the, the sign given less than, less than. You can leave it there. Um, less than, you could leave it there. But what I did here was to find a point of intersection, okay? The point of intersection of these two graphs. So when I got the point of intersection here of these two, the, neg the negative of our modulus, it was 1 over 5. And then this one of the modulus is supposed to be less than the line 3x plus 2. So when you look at this point here, um, it's supposed to be less. So when I look at the right, this line is going below, the other one is going up. So that means it is to the right of 1 over 5. So that's why the answer is x greater than 1 over 5. Okay. Then next, we go to... This is May, June 2021, paper 31, number 1. Modular signs on both sides, you don't waste time. That is squaring both sides. You bring everything onto one side, that becomes a difference of two squares. Add them, then subtract them. And then now you realize that we shall have here 7x times 5x, that is positive, 35x squared. So that means we shall have a U-shaped curve. So here, the critical value is 1 over 7. That is when you equate this one to 0, okay? So 1 over 7, and then here it is 3 over 5. So we want the part which is below this x-axis, and it has to be in between these two, as you can see from here. Beyond these points, this way and this way, it's positive. It is for the greater. So therefore, our solution is 1 over 7 less than x less than 3 over 5. Alternatively, we can do this by sketching, but we are not going to pass through this. It's the time we are having. The next one, you see modulus functions, modulus signs on both sides. Don't waste time. Square both sides, bring everything onto one side, difference of two squares, add, subtract, simplify. And now here, this one is a positive and a negative. So positive and a negative, that means the coefficient of x squared is going to be a negative. So therefore, we are going to have an n-shaped graph. So the critical values we are getting from here, we have a negative 4 and a negative 0 0.4. So we are interested in the parts that are below x-axis. So it is going to be beyond this way and also beyond here. In between these two, you see that it is above the x-axis. So we have x less than negative 4 and then x greater than negative 2 over 5. Next, 31 October, November 2020, question 1. This one here, um, we are having 2 minus 5. So the modulus sign is only on one side. So leaving this squaring of both sides, remember... We say now here there is a lot of things you're going to do. You're also going to, when you square both sides, you are going to get a quadratic from there. Then you sketch, you have these two, but one of them will fail. Because now, here one of them is going to fail, and then you take one. But when you square, I mean when you sketch, when you sketch, you are going to find that 
uh, you are using this and then this one uh, the positive and the negative part so this being the sketch of the two okay these two are going to meet somewhere so this this negative part is going to meet this line here so those are the ones which you are going to solve right away here okay mm -hmm. then the next one here is going to be 2 minus 5x and then this one so sketching when you sketch this is v-shaped for this other one the right one and then this one is just a straight line so they are going to meet you, you realize that this straight line is meeting our negative i mean uh, the negative part here so you look at the point of intersection of those two this one we don't need it because it is not intersecting with this line up here so the only part that we need is this one here 2x minus 5x which is equal to minus 2 and this then you get it as negative 4 over 3 so after getting negative 4 over 3 then you look at the left or the right so when you look at the left of it then um, the line here this line here is greater will always be greater than this uh, than this one the modulus so we shall have less than minus 4 over 3 then lastly we have this one when it is modulus functions no wastage of time as you have seen this one is the easiest square both sides bring everything on one side and then after that sort of that quadratic then we have there so when it comes to this now i don't have any other thing that we can say lastly of course when it comes to this one february march 2020 it is question one just reflect the part that goes beyond so if it cuts y axis at negative two reflect it into two here and that's what we are having then here you can split the positive with the positive here and then also the negative of this one now you realize that here i've changed the sign this one was negative i mean was less than then here it is plus why it's because it is actually this one the negative of it which we are using then less than and then we have nothing here so when you divide by negative then the sign changes okay the sign changes so that's why we are having that and then solving the two will give us three over two but testing these two it is x greater than three over two which is the right one okay thank you very much god bless you we are going to do more and more of this in those other years so see you in the next video